Yes, hello everyone outside there that is watching BTN TV at this moment. Again, it's the program for mathematics, just like for those who have been following us, they know where we started from and where we've reached. Once again, I'm teacher for really going to deliver mathematics lesson, just like I've been doing for those who have been. They know what we are supposed to do at this time. They know the program which is there ever on BTN TV at this time. To all pupils, or to all candidates, or to all any child who is already schooling, please don't just stay at home. As you stay at home, please make sure you revise your books, revise the work that you were given earlier by your teachers until the time the government will open schools. Once we reopen, we shall kick off from there. But if you just stay there without doing any kind of revision, then you'll find out that it will be a little bit a challenge for you the time we come back to school. So always move with us. For those who are in upper primary, I encourage you so much to move with us. Then as well as those who are in lower primary, I also encourage you to follow actually the uh, radio stations that has got also lessons. Please you try to follow them such so that we cope up as you also make sure that you revise. Yes. Let's kick off with the today's lesson. Today's lesson I want us to look at addition of whole so this is what I want us to look at today. I want us to look at addition of whole numbers. If you are given whole numbers and they want you to add them or to find the, the sum. So we need to find out what are we supposed to consider. You have to put this in your minds that when we are dealing with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division at the same time. What we need to consider so much is what we call place values which we have already looked at. For those who have been following us, they know we looked at place values and that is the main issue or the main tip that we are supposed to follow when we are handling addition. Neither subtraction, neither multiplication, at the same time even division. Before we come to handle our number, we have to look at the place values of each digit. You know very well that when we are making addition or, add or subtraction or any other number, we have to deal with ones first of all. So we begin adding from ones as we move on, we go to tens, as we move on gradual until we reach the highest place value. In this case here, when we look at this, they have given us two numbers. Example one says add three millions four hundred seventy-eight thousand four hundred thirty-seven plus four million two hundred eleven thousand three hundred forty-two. So when you look at this, you realize that this number here, it's the highest place value is a hundred. But before we go to that, I want us to know when they come to addition. But we don't know, sometimes we fail to interpret them and to put them right. So in most cases, sometimes this is what we look at. When you get the word addition or add, you can say addition or add. Addition simply means we are going to do this. Then at the same time, we have this word known as plus. We have this next word known as sum, not sum with A. This is a person, not addition sign. So we have to look at this. We look at addition, we look at plus, we look at sum. In most cases, when you are dealing with muscle budget, they also say, all together all together so once you come across any of these words here you have to put in mind when they say find the sum don't get confused some simply they mean you are going to add then at the same time you may find plus at the same time they mean you are going to add addition means add all together in most cases all it means or it refers to addition so let's continue from there and we look at our when you look at our number or example one but i have not given us plus neither sum neither all together this time round they have given us add or addition they can at the same time say add these two words they are the same and at the same time i will say all these words one two three four there are four words simply mean the same once you find them in mathematics you just know we are now going to deal with addition of numbers 
you find some just think of addition of numbers you find plus think of addition of numbers and then sometime when you see all together just know you are going to deal with addition of numbers so from there I want us to look at our example one which says add three millions four hundred seventy eight thousand four hundred thirty seven they want us to add that so what I'll do I'll first of all copy the first number as three millions four hundred seventy eight thousand four hundred thirty seven I've copied my first number cities three millions four hundred seventy eight thousand four hundred thirty seven as it is then after that I'll come to the second number I look at the second number I begin with the last digit I, lo I, I write it under the place value of one of the first number so from there I will say the last digit here we have two followed by four followed by three followed by one followed by two followed by four make sure as you are arranging these digits here they must be in the same same line or same column they must be in the same column whereby we shall come and we find its sum and its sum is what we are calling addition so when you look at this you realize that we shall count one two three digits then we put a comma one two three i will put a comma one two three comma one two three comma so that's how we shall identify the two numbers first of all or how we shall arrange the two numbers when you reach here this will be ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, millions so we shall look at that so much after arranging our numbers according to their place values just like the way we have done then we shall come to the side of ones we don't add the beginning from the highest place value we begin from the smallest place value and it is ever ones so we shall come to ones we say seven plus two we shall come out with nine we shall continue from there i'll come to place value of ten shall say three plus four which will give us seven i won't stop there i'll come to a hundred a hundred so when we come to hundreds we have th uh, four plus three which will give us seven so all that as we are adding we are following also the place values the ones which are under place values of one we have written them under the place value of one they are also in the same line hundreds in the same line so we shall continuously go to the thousands so we shall say eight plus one it will give us nine then we say seven plus one it will also give us eight then we shall say six plus two which will give us four plus two which will give us six then finally i will say three plus four which will give us seven this will be now our answer from there i'll say that of four three millions four hundred seventy eight thousand 437 plus 4 million 311,342 will give us well now we are coming to the answer we shall say it will give us 7 million 689,000 seven hundred seventy nine one two three one two three comma so this is what we shall come out with when i get to the first number i add on the second number it will give us the answer as seven millions six hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred seventy nine let's look at the number through together we have said 7 plus 2 it will give us 9. 3 plus 4 it will give us 7. 
4 plus 3 it will give us 7. At the same time, we have said 8 plus 1 it will give us 9. Whereby we shall have also 7 plus 1 it will give us 8. We continue from there, we shall say 4 plus 2 it will give us 6. Then lastly, we shall have 3 plus 4 which will give us 7. So the answer will be, uh, for in, when in case they ask you to write this answer in words, sometimes they can say add, then after adding, they say write the answer in words. So if this question says write the answer in words, it will be 7 million 689,779. That will be our answer then from there we shall also proceed to the second example that will be the first example and after a first example of my ruler and underline everything here and i call it a day that is our first example and then let's continue to the second example we we'll see what the second example wants us to do so let's continue with our second example and what does our second example say or what does it demand us to do when i look at the second example they have said find the sum of eight forty nine millions find the sum of forty nine millions two hundred eighty six thousand nine hundred sixty seven and 693 millions 497 861 so when you look at this question here you don't see any any any, any sign there you don't see any addition sign you don't see multiplication sign you don't see division sign you don't see anything like rated kind of multiplication sign is not there addition sign is not there uh you don't see anything like a word all together but earlier on i said there are some words that represent this sign here our sign plus i said the word sum simply mean add and now when we look at our question you realize that we don't have anything apart from the word sum so this word sum is going to help us identify what the question one and when you say when you look at the question it wants us now to find the sum they have said they find the sum and we know sum is addition so after knowing that the next step what we are going to do let's first of all copy the first number down then we are right with the second number and we add we are going to add because of the word sum remember the word sum is represented as representing addition and we don't mean sum of a sum of a this is a person so don't don't find anywhere somebody saying sum 82 kilograms of this and this and this then at the end of it for you you say since i've seen here the word sum everything is addition no sometimes they find the name sum then they say sum has got th three pens how many pens did he remain with after giving out one pen then for you you get you you add everything because you have seen the word sum no please the word sum i'm meaning is this s u m that one you have to add sum with m is a name sum with you is a word that represents addition or all together or plus this is what we mean so don't deal with this this one is the name of a person is a noun we first arrange our number so we'll have four nine two eight six nine six seven i've arranged the first number after there, I'll consider this as my place value of ones. Then from there, I'll go for the second number, and I also copy it down following the place value concept. So when we come to our second number here, we shall start from one, which, which is under ones. So I'll say here I have one, 
followed by 6, followed by 8. You don't begin from this side. Once you begin from this side, the arrangement will not be correct. We always begin from once on the second number. So we shall come for 7. You write it there. 9, then 4. We have 3. We have 9. We have 6. This is now what we are going to do. Why are you not supposed to begin from the place value of the highest place value? Now, when you look at this number, if you started from here, you realize that this 6 would be here and this one would be here, which is not correct. So, whenever you arrange these numbers, the second number, the third number, the fourth number should begin from the side of 1s. So, you begin from 1s, coming 10s, 100s, gradual until you finish all the digits. So from there, I want us to look at this. They want us to add this. So we are going to add starting from the place value of 1s. And when we come to the place value of 1s, we have got 7 and 1. So I will say 7 plus 1 to give us 8. 6 plus 6, it is giving us 12. If it is giving us 12, you have to put in your minds that we are not allowed to write here two digits under one place value. Now, if we are not allowed to write here 12 of, if we are not allowed to write here 12 of, we have added our answer, we have got 12 of, but we are not allowed to write two digits at a certain place value. So what we shall do, we shall have our 12 of, just like the way it is. We shall have our 12 of, then we say, out of this 12, we shall write 2 under this place value of 10s. We shall write 2 here. Then the one which is remaining, we shall regroup it to the next place value. So 1 will be regrouped there. And once we regroup our 1 here, we shall say 1 plus 9, which will give us 10. 10 plus 8, it will give us 18. So after getting 18 here, we are not supposed also to write here 18. So what will be the next step? It means we shall have also to regroup. So we shall write the last digit, which is 8. Then we regroup the first digit, which is 1. So I'll regroup 1 here. After regrouping that, I'll say 6 plus 1. This, is, this one, I've just regrouped it from here. So I'll say 1 plus 6, 7 plus 7, it will give us 14. When it gives me 14, I'm not allowed to write two digits at a certain place value. We shall have to write the last digit, then we regroup the first one. So the last digit in this number, we have 4. So I'll have to write here 4, then I regroup 1. I'll say 1 plus 8, it will give us 9. Plus 9, we shall come out with 18. Remember, we are not allowed to write two digits. So I'll come and get the last digit, which is 8. I'll write it here. Then the remaining digit, I'll regroup it there. After regrouping there, I'll say 1 plus 2, which will give us 3. 3 plus 4, it will give us 7. So I'll have to write here 7. I'm writing 7 here because it is not beyond 9. Remember, we regroup all the numbers that goes beyond 9. From 9 downwards, we don't regroup. So from 0 up to 9, we don't regroup. But from 9 and above, from, nine, from above 9, from above 9, that is to say, 10 going upwards you have to regroup so any number beyond whole numbers beyond 9 you have to regroup starting from 10 so when you look at our number here when you get to uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4 that will give us 7 7 is below 10 so if it is below 10 I'll write it then I will come to the next one I will say 9 plus 3 it will give us 12. 
Well, after getting 12, we are not allowed to write two digits at a certain place value. So we shall have to write only two. Then we regroup one. When we regroup one, we shall finally remain with one plus four, five plus nine to give us 14. 14, we are not allowed to write the two digits at only one place value. So what we are going to do, we shall write one last digit, then we regroup the first one. So I'll have to write here four, I regroup another one here. So I'll say one plus six, it will give us seven. Then I'll say one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So the last statement in example two, I'll come say, I'll have to say, there are four, the sum, there are four, the sum of 49 millions, 286,967 and 693 millions, 497,861 will give us or is equal to 742 millions, 784,828. So this is what is required when you get the number plus the second number, you'll come out with 742,784,828. Please, candidates who are following us, put this in consideration. Any number which goes beyond nine, beyond nine, you have to regroup. Beyond nine, you have to regroup. That is to say, and and above but from zero to nine here we don't regroup anything but starting from ten up to infinity you'll have to regroup and when i talk of infinity i mean those numbers do not end so you'll have to regroup According, uh, you have to regroup according to what you have come out with as you go to the next uh, place value. <laughs> so I want us to look at example three, and that will be my last example on this activity we are doing. So all this area we are handling. So when you look at example three, it says, example three says, wisdom sent about four millions, 342, 1,343, 237,313,413,000. This may not be seen well because of a marker. Uh, in the third term, I mean the third term, they said, let me come afresh. Wisdom sent about 786,200 grams of sugar in term one. 4,342,314 grams of sugar in term 2, 230, 4,313,103 grams of sugar in term 3. That is what they have told us. Then from there, the question is saying, calculate 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 the total amount calculate the total amount of sugar calculate the total amount of sugar bought in a full year in a full year or in three terms you can say in a full year or 
three terms in a full year or three terms. They can say n of the two or three terms. So when you look at this example here, they have told us this is school wisdom send about this number of grams of sugar in term one under this number of sugar these grams of sugar in term two and lastly they have also given us the amount of sugar bought in third term so when you look at it part of it it is saying calculate the total amount of sugar bought in a year so when you look at school routine in a, in a school in a year or one year we always have three terms that is now second round of primary we know we have three terms that's why sometimes they can say in a full year or three terms so when you look at this when you look at this question here you may look at it it is not straight to some people you realize that uh, they have not given us anything like addition sign maybe subtraction sign maybe multiplication sign or division sign none of these signs is given none of this is given when we look at our question we don't see anything like addition subtract multiply or add so what we say when i come to the last statement here where the question is where they say calculate the total amount so they want us to calculate the total amount this is the word that is showing us total this word total simply mean addition as you see the word total total simply mean addition or sum or plus so they are asking us to find the sum of the three uh, shifts of sugar or groups of sugar that they bought in first term second term and third term so for us to know the amount of sugar that this school bought in a full year so this is for term one according to what we have seen so let's come to sugar that this school bought in second term second term is here we shall have three i said we begin from ones don't begin from millions here so we shall come to four come to three come to two we come to four shall come to three finally we shall come to four then from there remember this sugar was measured in grams we shall also continue to the last term that is now third term when you look at third term you realize that this this school here about 234 million 313,143 grams. That is the amount of sugar that was bought in the third term. So I'll start with the last digit, which is 3, followed by 4, followed by 1, followed by 3, followed by 1, followed by 3, followed by 4, followed by 3 by two so I told you when you are writing these numbers always you will have to begin from ones when you look at this you realize that as you arrange them in order some numbers are continuously coming this side the big numbers are still continuing this side but if you start from here then they will go the other side and you will find the answer as the wrong answer so from there after arranging I will have to get my rule and underline this then since they have said I calculated the total amount of sugar bought or three terms, I will have to add. So I want us to add this and see. Remember when you add everything should come out in grams. Then we shall begin from ones. We shall say zero plus three plus three, which will give us six. I will start from January. I mean, I will start from the first term, second term, third term. Zero plus four plus four. This will give us eight. We shall have also two plus three, five plus one, six. We shall continue by saying 
6 plus 2, which will give us 8. Then from there, we shall have also to come to third term, we add 3, which will give us 11. Remember, earlier on I said that uh, we cannot write two digits at only one place value. Each place value is supposed to hold only one digit. So if it is supposed to hold one digit, if we have got to come up with 11 here, if 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, we shall have to write 1, this last one, then we regroup the, la the first one. So when we come to the next one, we shall say 1 plus 8, that will be 9. 9 plus 4, that will be 13. 13 plus 1, we shall come out with 14. So once we come out with 14, 14 is not allowed to be written at one place value. So what we need to do, the first thing we shall have to write the last digit, then we regroup the first digit or the biggest digit. And the, our biggest digit here, it is now 1 because it is taking the place value of 1 here. So when I come here, 1, which is taking the place value of 10s, if this is 1s, this will be 10s. So I'll have my 4 written here, then I regroup my 1 here. So after regrouping there, I'll also continue and say 1 plus 7, it will give us 8. 8 plus 3, it will give us 11. 11 plus 3, it will give us 14. 14 still, we shall write 4, and we regroup 1. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 4, 9. Then we shall continue by saying, when I look at here, we have nothing. Here we have nothing. So I'll have nothing plus nothing, which is... Then we shall say 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. Then from there, I'll have to underline this. Here, how can I say... There are four wisdom sender about 239 millions wisdom sender about 239 million 686 grams of sugar in a year or in three terms. The first term they bought a little bit little sugar. Then when they reached the second term, they increased a bit. The third term, they increased. We don't know why they were increasing the number of grams. Maybe as children, maybe increases, then they also have to increase food. I don't know. We can't tell the reason why they were increasing like that. So this was first term, second term, third term, which will give us 239 million, 441. Uh, 686 grams as you have also following this outside there should you reach somewhere and find that you want to ask a question concerning what you've done you have a question which is related to what I've done you would wish to find something that you didn't get clear you might have followed but you have not understood something clearly then you would wish at least to post your question and be answered. Anything concerning the, uh, the content for today or the lesson, I would refer you to this number. Just send your question and you will be answered just like some people are doing. As you send your question, you will be helped. So you just send this on WhatsApp, use WhatsApp message or just a message direct. Send your question here, I'll get back to you and I'll give you the correct response concerning to what you want. Meanwhile, as I wind up, I would like also to leave you with some two to three numbers. As you also work it out, then by the time you back to school, you will also hand the book over to the teacher and ask your teacher for marking. So, uh, as I've just said it earlier, that I, as I live, I have also to leave you with something to do. I know you have books for those who have been following us. So I have prepared for you some kind of activity here that uh, you can also go through. Number one says, find the sum of 49, uh, 
the three millions three thousand eight hundred forty three and two hundred and ninety eight thousand six hundred forty three right, they want you to find the sum when we come to number two number two says what is the sum of four thousand four thousand three hundred eighty six trees uh-huh the next group we have three millions four hundred eighty four thousand eight hundred sixty nine trees and four hundred eighty four thousand I mean a four hundred this is comma here there is a comma four hundred eighty four millions four hundred thirty eight thousand four hundred nine trees all these are trees not just nine trees so they want you to find the sum lastly but not least when we come to the last number they have said angel boat 78,486 kilograms of rice for her father, Fred, and 236,780 kilograms for her mother, Royste. Full stop. Then they continued and said, how many kilograms did she buy all together? So when you look at this, she bought for the father a certain quantity of rice. At the same time, she also bought for the mother a certain quantity of rice. So as we summarize with the lesson, those who are still watching us outside there, we really appreciate and be, keep following the program. BT and stuff, we really do recognize them. At the same time, I recognize Mama M for the support of allowing me to come and show these lessons and deliver the service to the young generation. We wish you well. Thank you.